So I'm saying long journey from Jai Sumer by Jaipur to Goa is finally over. I'm proper dead, proper tired. Um, but yeah, we've arrived in our little place that we're staying at in Goa. To be, to be exact, we're in an area called Anjuna. I think it's quite a touristy area. But have a look at our room and what's around us. This is why I came to go with. It's our first day of freedom. We have rented a scooter and yeah, helmets are non-existent here, hey? Helmets are non-existent. So, um, <laughs> so we're a little bit scared, but we're going right to the north of where we're staying in Goa. And then we make our way back all the way down. We're stopping along the way to see multiple beaches and things like that so just a note about Goa is that it's a it's a very Christian little area which is kind of why a lot of people say Goa is kind of unique or different to the rest of India because of um, you know the rest of India being really Hindi and things like that and a little bit of Muslim and yeah we're at this epic little chapel so let's check it out to the security guard who gave us a better rundown of the history here. So Goa was never really part of India. It was like a separate state run by the Portuguese. Then it got it in its independence in the 1960s. I think the same with Britain and India. Okay, so our first stop for the day, Quirum Beach also known as Kerry Beach um, I think that's the English name but yeah this is the first beach so we've made our way to the most north uh, and then we're gonna work all the way back home south. Yeah, literally, <laughs> I walked right into a massive spider web. But I, I'm just, I just love the idea of how nature has taken over these buses. And yeah, it's just taken over and just grown right through every... And right opposite these buses is an amazing temple. Okay, so this is how you know that this beach, and even Goa, is designed for Russians. Look at this menu. Look at this. You got a half a menu designed. For Ruskies. Cheers. Okay, so we're on this epic bridge. It's the only place where you'll find cops. So there's like a million rules only along this bridge. Helmets. No cell phones, no speeding, there's even a speed trap. This is India, I've never in my life seen anything like this. But anyway, so next to the bridge, you'll see insane beauty. And I think there's fishermen that go along here. So I wanna go down there and fly. Because I ain't flying on this bridge because I don't feel like bribing cops today. So let's go down.
okay. I'm alive. Even though I don't feel it, it is literally a million degrees up here. There is not a single bit of shade, but the view is still amazing. It is really hazy, probably because of the extreme heat. Um, but along these walls, there's just a ton, a ton of people. So probably I recommend coming here at sunrise and sunset because it is just unbearable. But yeah, maybe I'm just gonna fly the drone to get a better view of the top. great sunset another great 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 beach so we're in South and Juno Beach that place there Curly's that's been around since the 60s really really popular hippie beach and who is that that is Dross so pretty much what I was saying earlier about Curly's it has 11,000 reviews. That just, that's just how you know how old it is and how much history it has. So yeah, like I was saying, this is the south, south of Anjuna Beach. Watching tourists pretend that they all premier yoga. So this is it, um, the end of India. We're leaving for Sri Lanka tomorrow. Uh, look, Sri Lanka's beaches are without a doubt obviously gonna be better. Also coming from Bali, very hard to compete. But India was always about the culture, was always about the architecture, the food. Um, and we got that, we, we definitely had that. Um, unfortunately, obviously the sadness about the dogs um, the animals, it's, it's, it's really, really hard to see the animals, the pollution, the litter. Um, and, and there's a few creepy men. Uh, you, you get my drift. I wouldn't, obviously, if you're a female coming here on your own, I'd be a little bit wary. Um, but look, it's a very safe place. And I'm comparing back home to South Africa, so I think it's still very safe. But I'd be a little bit cautious if I was a female coming here on my own. I'm a dog person and they only really care for cows here, not really the dogs and the cats. Um, but stunning and we're excited for Sri Lanka, so we'll see you in Sri Lanka.